Hello, good evening. You're welcome to tonight's prayer for the Unreachable Group. My name is Josephine. It's good to have you back here today. I trust God that you had the most beautiful and the most blessed day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Excuse me. I thank God you had a most a beautiful day, a blessed day, an awesome day at your work, at your business, at school, at your market, at your church god bless you in the name of jesus christ we are happy to have you back here and you're very very welcome to tonight's prayer session for the unreachable group god bless you immensely in the name of jesus christ today we'll be praying for the bosniak in croatia bosniak in croatia let's pray father in the name of jesus christ we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory you are god all by yourself you are the mighty God. You are the ancient of days. You are the beginning and you are the end. We give you praise, our Father God, for today. We thank you for another privilege you have given unto us to reach the unreachable group through prayers. We thank you for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, even for today and tomorrow. We give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for ordering our steps, O oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us all trust and helping us to pray in the mind of the Father for this group. Blessed be your name forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, we commit to this prayer into your hands and we ask that you help us. Holy Ghost, we depend on you to help us once again to pray the mind of the Father for this group. And we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that Jesus be glorified on this platform tonight and let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have the rich free spirit of the living God. Empower us to pray tonight. Supply strength to our inner man and strength to our tongue. Empower our tongue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Be thou exalted forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So today we are here to pray <coughs> to reach the unreachable group through prayers. So the unreachable group are ethnic group of people. Some of these people group don't know Jesus. They don't know what Jesus did for mankind. They have never heard about the name of Jesus Christ. They don't have access to gospel materials in their local communities. They don't have church presence. And they cannot be evangelized without outside help. This is because they don't have enough Christians among them to evangelize them. So they require outside help, uh, Christians from outside. Christians are not from their immediate communities to come and tell them more about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, and we are joining the way as God enables us. We meet here Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Nigerian time. And we reach this unreachable group through prayers. And we are inviting you to join us um, to reach this unreachable group through prayers. The Bible says the end will not come until the gospel of salvation is preached in the whole nations of the earth and um he said the harvest is plenteous and the laborers are few i thank you holy spirit there are over three billion unreachable group what that means that that's over three billion people who have never heard about the name of jesus christ who don't know who jesus is what he has done or what he can do is able to do for them you know and these people, if we don't do anything about it, they will perish and go to hell. And that will not be fair because the fruit of the suffering of Jesus Christ is these souls that he died for. And we as his children, we need to do our part to ensure that souls are saved and brought into the kingdom of God. As salvation is only in Christ Jesus but we need to tell people about Jesus so they can believe in the name of Jesus Christ and they can have faith in Jesus. So we need, we have work to do and we are calling upon you to join us. And there are different ways you can reach the rich. First of all, like say, within our immediate families, within our neighbors, our spaces, we have unreached persons. We have unreached persons within our immediate families our friend, uh, friend circle, our business circle, within our co among our colleagues, we have unreachable group. So we can start from there to reach this unreachable group. If I have a friend that doesn't go to church or doesn't believe in what we're doing in the church, that person is an unreached person. 
if you have a friend or a brother or a colleague who doesn't go to church or don't believe in what you are doing as Christians, that person is an unreached person group, an unreached person. So you try as much as possible to reach them and show good behavior. Sometimes it's our character that 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 attracts people to seek for the our our God. If you remember the book of Ruth, the uh, Naomi's uh, uh, Ruth herself, it was the stories she heard about the God of Israel that made her to fall in love with the God of Israel. The man, when uh, uh, um, uh, the son of Naomi was telling her about the God of Israel, the God that fights for his own people, not like their own tamos that they have to take care of. Their own God takes care of them. The God of Israel takes care of its own. So based on that story, the young man told her she fell in love with the God of Israel. Now, our relationship with people, one way or the other, our character, our way of life, we tell people about Jesus. The Christianity is a way of life. It's a way of life. So they first of all call them Christians. Why? Because they were Christ-like. They lived like their master. So let our we need to be mindful of our character. We need, I, 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 a story was told about, okay, I saw a, it's a skit, but I can't get that lesson off my head, you know. I learned a very vital lesson of a young man, a bike man, you know, he picked a passenger. And at the point, from the point where he picked this passenger, it's been argument and war and this passenger wasn't nice to him so when they got to a place and uh, he needed he paid this uh, bike man and the bike man didn't have the change to give to him you know to her and she said all manner of things to this young man all manner all manner of things to this young man so the guy was so frustrated that he had to pack his bike couldn't go to work because of how much she had offended him you know in fact the guy was traumatized by the lady's character so why he was said he sat down and was trying to cool off i don't know why i'm telling you this story but just listen to it why he sat down was trying to cool off to calm down this group of people christians came along to preach jesus to him and they talked to him about jesus and he felt better you know he felt good and decided that he was going to visit them or visit come to the church or something so but why they finished they not told him oh well, hold on our leader is on our way here when she gets here she's going to pray for you and she will tell you more things give you a better explanation of about everything we have been trying to tell you and the young man waited patiently for this leader to come. Lo and behold, do you know who the leader is, was? The lady that made him pack his bike. The lady that made him not to go for his business. That made him sat down there and began to think about his life. The same lady that almost fought him. I think he even slapped him. That harassed him was the leader of the evangelism team. And the moment the young man saw this lady, he said one thing. He said, if this woman is a member of the church and she's your leader, then I don't need your Jesus. I will never, if because of this woman, I will never come to the church. As he said that angrily, he wanted to cross the road. He didn't look because of he was upset and the car ran over him. And he died instantly. So, the essence of the story is for us to be mindful as Christians, uh, uh, mindful of our character, the way we relate with people. Imagine that guy would have been saved if not for that woman's character, if not for the way she related, he, she, she, her behavior towards him. So that soul now, whether we like it or yes, it's gone and it goes straight to hell. So you see, in fulfilling the Great Commission, 
you owe them a responsibility. I used to tell my team members, I said, even in church, as a worker in church, we don't allow people to come to church and sit down and they're upset in church. Why? It's their father's house. They came to look for Jesus. They had to look for Jesus Christ. You will have understanding better than they do. Make them comfortable regardless. Thank God. I used to thank God. I said, ah, thank God that this guy is in church. He said, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. As he comes every day with his bad attitude, with whatever it is that is happening with him or he does, but as he comes every day, he says, sanctify them by your word. Your word is truth. The word of God sanctifies us. You know, satisfy the human spirit, soul and body. So, as much as possible, try to tell somebody about Jesus. Try to invite someone to church. Try to try to pray for someone that is not saved. As much as possible, try. Just do something. Try to reach out to someone. Oh, this person has a bad character. As much as you can, try to reach out to the person. This message is for every one of us. And God bless us as we do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The whole purpose of this short story is for us to be able to reach the unrich. And like I said, within our immediate family, our family circle, our friend circle, our colleagues and every people we different people we meet on the way, they are there are rich people groups. So long as that my friend doesn't go to church, he or she is an unrich person. So what I will do for my part is try to reach the person. You know. So do the same. And God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus Christ. So today we are going to pray for Bosniak in Croatia. Every information we bring to you about this unrich people group groups is as provided by Joshua Project on the Joshua Project platform. www.joshuaproject.net you will see and he get all the information you need to know about every unreachable group at the different at the UUPG, the unreach, unengaged, unengaged unreachable group, the frontier people group. So they are different. The frontier people group, these people they have never heard about Jesus before. They don't they don't have Christians, not one among them. They call them the frontier people group. They are scattered all over the world. All over the world. Frontier people group. The unengaged unreachable group, these people group, they are not, nobody knows where they are. Nobody has found them. Nobody has been to their location. Nobody knows where they are. So those people, nobody has come fat. You just, you see, randomly, you just pick them up and says they call them unengaged unreachable group. So nobody has engaged them. Nobody has gone to speak with them. Maybe they catch them, they, 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 they find them on the radio or whatever. A, a, a technology that you just okay there's a particular people group that people living in this particular location nobody has gone there to engage them nobody has spoken to them they call them unengaged unreachable group so i told someone i say you have the ability you have the privilege to hear the gospel 200 times per day if you like the least you can do is to pray for one person somewhere in this world to hear about jesus just to hear that's the seed if the person can hear, just hear about Jesus Christ, that person's life will change for good. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So this information we are giving you is from Joshua Project Prayer Platform. And Joshua Project is a mission organization that seeks to coordinate the activities of this unreachable group with other missionary organizations. So we go to their page and we bring you the information as provided by Joshua Project. God bless you as you join us in the name of Jesus Christ. So this people group, today people group, the Bosniak in Croatia, they have a population of 28,000 and uh, their main language is Bosnia, their uh, uh, religion is Islam, yeah, hallelujah, they have complete Bible, they don't have audio New Testament, but they have the Jesus film, praise God, and they have audio recordings too, and they have less than 2% Christ followers, and of course their status type is that they are unreached so the bosniak are an ethnic group living in southeastern europe mainly in bosnia and herzegovina a smaller number live in croatia okay ministry obstacles 
See, for many Bosniak, Islamic identity has more to do with cultural roots than religious beliefs. Even among religious Bosniak, there is a disdain of religious leaders who exercise influence over day-to-day -day life. Bosniaks have a low opinion of religion, so they seldom will listen to those who tell them about Jesus. Outreach ideas. Most Bosniaks are Sunni Muslims, but historically, Sufism played a significant role among them. This might be a bridge to the gospel because Sufis seek a personal relationship with the Almighty. Scripture focus is taken from Nehemiah 2, 9 and verse 29. Nehemiah 2 and verse 29 says, And you warn them in order to turn back to your law, yet they acted presumptuously and did not obey your commandment but sinned against your rules, which if a person does them, he shall live by them. And they turned a stubborn shoulder and stiffened their neck and would not obey. That's a terrible one. So we are going to pray for this simple group. Um, we are going to pray that when this simple group hears the word, that they will respond with heartfelt obedience. God requires from us prompt obedience. 19 with god as much as god loves us as as like i like to put it as, as much beyond the terribleness of god's love for us god demands god demands complete obedience for us 99.99999 obedience as far as god is concerned is disobedience god demands he's not begging you for it the divine omnipotence, the God Almighty, demands prompt, prompt obedience from his children. So, that's very important. I needed to point that out. So, we are going to ask God to encourage Bosnia believers in this region and raise up a church planting movement among them. We don't want to see the consequences of disobeying God. Pray that God will grant wisdom and favor to the mission agencies they are currently working among Bosnians. We're going to ask the Lord to call people to go to Bosnia Herzegovina to share Christ. We are going to pray that God will meet the physical, spiritual, and emotional needs of the Bosniaks. Pray, pray with me in the name of Jesus Christ for today's people group in Jesus' mighty name. Father, consigning to this people group, we lift them up to your throne of grace and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Zagodale prakuto zigadia. O tanama zuka dale preko to kapa e kapa zoko to kabragada we give you all the glory we worship you our god you are worthy to be praised we give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. Our Father and our God, we give you praise. Oh, Kabazuko Toka Prakate Zadigapa. It says, Shall come to pass on the last day that the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord as the waters covers the sea let the earth father according to your word according to the order of habakkuk 2 14 let the earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord as the water covers the sea say that we know you say nobody will teach the other one to know me for they will know me from the biggest to the smallest every one of them will know me so says the spirit of grace he said the lord the jehovah said everyone will know him from the biggest to the smallest everyone will know him. nobody will teach his neighbor know the lord because they will definitely know him hallelujah father we pray oh god that lipa kukapa e zadula brakuto kapazoko to kabrakata e kapazuko to la bagandeli kaprakuto father we pray oh god that when the people oh god of bosnia in croatia hears your word that they will respond with heartfelt obedience in the name of jesus christ oh 
kapazo koto kade kata the bible speaking in the book of art it said while he yet speak christ speaker peter was speaking they be, they were caught in their heart and they began to ask what sh men and brethren what shall we do to be saved even so father we ask that you do to these people as they hear your word O god my father let them be caught in their heart and let them begin to ask what shall we do to be saved in the name of jesus christ zaduka brekoto na mazika dagaba otala bra in dankoto za brakete lipe kutu kabazia undali prakuta kada likabado ne mazo kabaku dali kada e kabazo koto kabragida le kabazunga di kada le koka bato koka bazu koto kaba in banko kapazo koto ligaba kuka pa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be the reason why somebody will want to know Jesus. Be the reason why somebody will want to know Jesus. Do not be the reason why somebody will say, I, if this is how Christianity is, I do not want to belong to it. Every day, every day as we speak, over 40,000 people die and go straight to hell. Over 40 people, 40,000 people die and they go straight to hell. Be the reason why somebody wants to know Jesus. Be the reason why somebody wants to go closer to Jesus. Be the reason why somebody wants to serve Jesus. Ah, look at this person. Because of this person, I want to know this God. Be the reason. I'm praying and I'm going to say what comes to my spirit. So be the reason why somebody likes to know Jesus. Be that reason, be the reason somebody wants to know Jesus. Be the reason, I say that again, be the reason somebody wants to know Jesus. Be the reason somebody wants to come to salvation. Be the reason somebody wants to come to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. And Abonke said, when people come to church, they are looking for Jesus. Give them Jesus. Give them Jesus. Be the reason once again why somebody wants to know jesus be the reason why somebody wants to worship jesus god bless you in the name of jesus christ we are going to ask the lord to encourage the bosnian believers in this region and raise up a church planting movement among them in the name of jesus christ E gado la brakuto zi gadale kondunga bakuta le badia o kabaza de koto kaba dale kadagada e kapazo koto dali branku kabagodua e gado kaba koto zali kambranko do kada kambanko to kabrako to kata e kapazu koto kabrako to kata e gabazo koto kabraga de kete O ka bazu ko to ka braga de kete e ga bazu ko to ka ba ko do gada in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we are praying amen and amen for that we pray oh God that you will grant wisdom and favor to the mission agencies that are currently working among the Bosnians la bazu ko to li pre ko ka ba e ka bazu ko to ka braga de kete E gabazo ko to de kaba ko to kata imbango to li prezo ko to kada gada kabazo ko kaba ko do kaba ko to e gabazo ko to li bangu da le praku kapa kadele breko zoka bakuta na kadali kaba o taza gada le ko do kaba kuto le bege de o kabazo ko to gada gadele preko to in banko ka bazo ko to li pre ko ka ba e ga bazo ko to li pa ko ka ba ko to ka ta e ka pa zo ko to ka pa le ko ka ba ko ka da in the mighty name of jesus christ we are praying amen and amen we are still praying we're going to ask the lord to call people to go to bosnia as uh, a govern as a governor to share christ uh, he said the harvest is plenteous but the laborers are few therefore we should ask the lord of the harvest that he should send laborers into his harvest field uh, 
Father, we pray, O oh God, today that you raise men and women from different walks of life, from different parts of the world, and trust them into the harvest field for the ingathering of the harvest to the praise and glory of your name alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. E gaba zo koto li pre kuka ba kada le koka ba zo koto li kaba e gaba zo koto kaba godo kada gada kamban koto li pe kuka ba zo koka da e gaba zo koto kada gada e gaba zo koto li pe kuka ba e gaba zo koto kaba gade gada e gaba zo koto kada kaba koto kaba gada in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen and amen. For that, we pray, O oh God, that you will meet the physical, spiritual, and emotional needs of the Bosniaks. Our Kapako Philippians 4 19 says, uh, Say, For my God, we supply, supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Uh, therefore, Father, we pray, O oh God, that you supply, O oh God, uh, the needs, every need, O oh God, of the Bosnia people group, O oh God, in Croatia, O oh God, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, that Gamba Zuko Tokatam, that you supply, O oh God, the physical need, the material need, and the spiritual needs, O oh God, my Father, of the Bosnia people group in Croatia. Lebeko to Labrako Zika da e gaba zu ko to ka ba ko to ka da ka ba ko ze ke te ka bra go do e mban ko ka ba zu ko to de ke de ka da le ko to zi ka mban go do ka bra ga da ka ba zu ko to li pre ku ka ba go do ka da le ko to ze ke pe ko to ka pa da ga ba zu ko to li pre ku da ge de ge Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will meet, O oh God, uh, that and supply every need, O oh God, uh, of the Bosniak people group in Croatia, according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. E kuka bazuko toka dea, e gabado kabrako toka bazuko do gedea, ke dale koto zika brako to, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, amen and amen. Father, we give you thanks in the name of of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. And we pray, O oh God, that your grace that brings salvation appear to as many that have been ordained for salvation on this day, the 2nd of February 2023, before the foundation of the earth. Let every single soul that have been ordained for salvation, regardless of their location in the alley, on the dungeon, O oh God, on the streets, O oh God, in the prison yards, wherever they are, regardless less in every part of the world father let your grace locate them this morning in this night oh god and let their souls be saved to the praise and glory of your name alone in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you king of glory in jesus mighty name we are praying amen in judges 14 when this uh, caleb uh, 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 gave out his daughter aksa for marriage so he gave them an arid ground, a very dry ground, the arid, it's arid, the, the north part, you know, and it's a very dry ground. So you cannot farm there. It's just like a, it's a desert land. So, you know, in those days, you need to give your child, your daughter, a marriage gift. So Caleb gave his only daughter a land, but that place, it's, it's a desert land. So Aksa, the daughter of Caleb, said to Caleb, said, my father, I am not complaining that you have given me a land, an arid ground, a hard ground, a desert land. I'm not complaining, but I have come to ask you for a blessing. The father now said, okay, what do you want? He said, father, you have given me a marriage gift. You have given me a desert land as a marriage gift. But today I've come to ask you to give me the upper and the lower spring hallelujah he said give me the upper and the lower spring what that means is that if we give she the gift she's asking for is that the water rain like rain will come from up to water the ground and rain water will come from under the ground to water the ground you can imagine the kind of abundance she will get he said give me therefore the upper and the lower spring so now we are going to pray for our father to give everyone supporting joy in the way one way or the other to give unto them the upper and the lower spring 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the joy in the way partners and for as many, O oh God, that are supporting joy in the way, both financially, O oh God, in kind, O oh God. Lekota Zakata. Father, tonight we pray, O oh God, that you give unto them, O oh God, the upper and the lower spring. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zakuta le pre kuka bakata. O gabazo koto le pre kuka pa. Aksa asks for a very smart gift. If she gets the upper and the lower spring, her ground will be oversought for her to farm and she will have abundance of harvest. Hallelujah. So today, Father, we pray, O God, even likewise, O God, do unto everyone, O God, supporting, O God, the joy in the way movement, O God, both financially, O God, kabazo ko kapraka deke pe koto kapa in baku kaprako to kadeka ta for us made a pray for joy in the way that helping joy in the way in one way or the other father tonight we ask so god that you give unto every one of them the upper and the lower spring in the mighty name of jesus christ they cook apart that you rain your abundance upon them in the name of jesus christ they gaba zo koto kabrakata and we decree that we lack nothing good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ze koto kapa popa them on every side. Even, O oh God, the ones that will come later, O oh God, for that we ask that you prosper them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name and be thou exalted majesty. Blessed be God forever in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed, Amen and Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you immensely for joining in. We are so grateful. God bless you and honor you and favor you and give you rest round about in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We hope to see you tomorrow, same time, 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Do well to invite your friends, your family, your colleagues, your neighbors, even your enemies to join us as we pray and reach the reachable group in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the short story I told you earlier. Do not be the reason why someone will decide not to know Jesus. It's a terrible thing you don't want to know. Do not be the reason why somebody will decide if this is the way this is. I don't want to be, have anything to do with it. And God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful and restful night. Shalom.